as you may have guessed, this cordless chainsaw is not made for cutting the Christmas turkey. It is in fact intended for cutting and pruning branches, and I can guarantee you that it's much more powerful than I would have expected. As I mentioned, this cordless chainsaw was a real surprise and with this 4 ampere hour battery I was able to cut for 25 minutes a dry and green locust tree about 10 to 15 centimeter diameters and also a 20 centimeters log of black locust so of hardwood I had it tested also to a professional who cut a dry locust log and therefore very hard wood and in this case the battery lasted only 10 minutes however with two batteries he has been able to cut 770 pounds of woods. I expected that, as this cordless chainsaw is made for pruning, not for cutting down trees. However, it's possible to use a more powerful battery than this one, but they will be heavier. And by the way, a great feature that I found of this cordless chainsaw is that with this battery is perfectly balanced, as you may see, and therefore this prevents damaging your tendons of the wrist. The body, so without the bar and the, without the battery, weighed only 2.6 kilos, and if I had a 25 centimeter bar, the 4 ampere hour battery and the chain oil, it reaches 4.1 kilos and still it remains very easy to use. To recharge this 4 ampere hour battery, it takes 45 minutes. So my advice is bring multiple batteries with you. You may also use only one battery and just recharge it and use it continuously. However, continuously charging and discharging cycles of battery may reduce its life, so you may want to avoid this. To operate it, you have to press the switch button, then the unlock system and the trigger. If you leave it without using, after two seconds it will turn off automatically. This is very useful to avoid unnecessary drain of battery. On the other hand, if you have to use it frequently, it's sufficient just to push and hold down the unlock system to prevent it from shutting down. It's also equipped with a triple control that will shut down the chainsaw when, for example, it senses an eye absorption of a current in a short time, trivially when the blade jams and gets stuck, or when the eye absorption is for a long time. So, for example, if I'm cutting continuously these very big logs. Finally, this protection system also intervenes when uh, the battery charge is not sufficient to, to guarantee the performance for which this chainsaw is designed. A big advantage of a petrol chainsaw is that when you prune at face height, you don't have the exhaust smog on your face. Moreover, it's not very noisy and has no vibration, like with the combustion engine. The most useful thing uh, I've found is that when you are up on a tree, to turn it on, you just need to push the trigger button with one hand and then make great difference from having to pull a ignition strap using two hands. It's much safer. A very useful aspect I find in this chainsaw is that under this small cap there's a screw that lets you adjust the chain oil pump, thereby varying the flow from low to medium to high. Why? Well, if you're cutting soft branches, it's convenient to decrease the flow of oil to avoid dispersing in the environment. Vice versa, if you are cutting hard wood, increasing the lubrication will guarantee a better sliding of the chain on the bar and therefore prevent the risk of seizing. About the oil, the reservoir is semi-transparent and so it allows you to check immediately if you need to top it up or not. And the capacity of this tank is 200 cc. For pruning, I always recommend using biodegradable oil not to damage the plants. The mineral oils that are normally used to cutting woods are in fact harmful to plants. So if you are pruning, you need to avoid poisoning them. Safety-wise, it's always important to hold the chainsaw with two hands, wear goggles and hair protections, as well as a helmet to avoid any branches falling from above to hit and injure you. I always recommend to activate the chain brake before turning it on to prevent the blade from inadvertently starting. It's equipped with a carabine clip so that it can be hoisted into altitude and a feature that I appreciate a lot is the metal crampon which has the advantage of being very durable and helps holding the branch still while cutting it to avoid kickbacks. The chain it comes is made by Oregon so among the best in the world but you can fit any other brands as well and this model has a 25 centimeters bar but you can have with 30 35 uh, centimeters bar and also 25 centimeter carving bar one last device that i would like to share with you 
is uh, at the end of the season completely empty the chain oil put in an engine oil and let it idle for at least five minutes at the end empty this oil as well and then you can store it all this is necessary because uh, the chain oil contains a binding agent that causes the oil to stick to the inside of the bar so that it's not easily dispersed and if left for a long time while the chainsaw rested this glue can harden and thus damage the pump and all the chain oil pipes and now excuse me but there's something I should do 